guys, welcome to Quirky Style. So today I am going to tell you 10 ways to use aloe vera gel. And for the tutorial, I am going to use Patanjali aloe vera gel which is for like 80 rupees and you get 150 ml of the product. And now you will get to know that this is my holy grail product. The first way to use this aloe vera gel is as a primer or a moisturizer because it even moisturizes your skin and the makeup sticks to your face. So I said that you can use it as a 2-in-1 product which is a yay. You don't have to apply like 2 products at a time but you apply this and you are good to go. The second way to use this is as an eyebrow gel. Yes, what you need to do is you need to take a little bit of product. Here it is. Then if you have a spoolie brush like this, you take the gel on the brush like this and you just brush it on your eyebrows it would look thick and nicely shaped yeah so I love this again the third way to use it again using a spoolie brush is as a mascara you can use this as a transparent mascara using the spoolie you take the gel and just apply it on your lashes and you would see that your lashes look thicker and longer and if you want you can go ahead and apply a mascara over it and you can see the mascara sticks to the aloe vera gel so nicely and your lashes look big and voluminous yeah. the next way is you can use this as a lip primer when you're using those super matte lipsticks you can use this under those lipsticks and your lips would be hydrated throughout the day and it won't crack or there won't be any dry patches on your lips So the next way is to use it as an eye mask. Take a cotton pad like this and then apply aloe vera gel. Take a generous amount then drop the other thing. And just apply it on your eyes like this and dab it like this. So just apply it like this and dab it and just be calm and relax for like 10 minutes and all the stress will come out of your body literally it's that soothing i can't even express in words you need to try it for yourself like all the methods are good but this one is my favorite because i do it every night and i feel relaxed it helps you to get my sleep and it removes all the puffiness from your eyes and it helps in the dark circles as well but I'll put a disclaimer for your dark circles you need to use it consistently it is not that you used it once and then immediately you'll see the results you need to apply it continuously at least for 15 days and then you're going to see amazing results trust me the next way in which you can use it is as a scrub for your face and your body for your face I would suggest you take granulated sugar you can take any sugar that you want brown sugar or white sugar add one tablespoon of honey and one tablespoon of aloe vera gel and then gently massage your skin you can see that your dead skin comes off and it gives a glow to your skin you can see the results immediately you can use this as a face mask yes what you need to do is take sandalwood powder and add aloe vera gel to it and you're good to go you can apply it on your face you can change the powders according to your needs you can use fuller's earth which is also called as multani mitti and then you can add both of them and then add aloe vera gel or rose water to it but yes aloe vera gel is a must because it moisturizes it smoothens it helps in removing all the dark spots pigmentation from your body and yes again a disclaimer you have to use it consistently yes the last way to use it is as a face mist and for making this face mist you need four ingredients green tea water aloe vera gel rose water and essential oil so dreamers if you related to this video and if you tried any of these methods please write it down in the comment section below so that i know how it worked on you as well and you know that we can talk to each other 
like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and remember be quirky to live young and travel the world bye